My name is Stephanie Chambers and I am a graduate student at Liberty University. I am pursuing a master's degree in human service counseling specializing in criminal justice. This semester, I had the pleasure of taking a group dynamics class. Um, for this class, we have a group leading project that we had to participate in. Um, so for my group leading project, I decided to have a one-time support group meeting for single mothers. I had this meeting on April the 21st at 7 o'clock p.m. and I invited uh, participants to come to my home. Since this was a one-time meeting, um, I have a pretty decent sized living room. So we met in my living room. Um, I gathered and I did a group setting. Um, these participants were all mothers from the ages of 27 to 38. Um, they had children that ranges from one participant only had one child with one on the way, um, I had participants with two kids. I had participants with three kids. There was actually a total of seven participants um, and each participants were single mothers. Um, what for this meeting, my goal for this meeting was to gather these single mothers and develop this one time support group um, for specifically for the project. But I felt it, it, this is something near and dear to me as I have been a single parent. Um, I was a single parent up until my child was the age of three uh, when I got married to my husband. So um, if I felt like if I had some type of single parent support group whenever I was a single parent, things may have been a little easier for me. So my, game, my goal uh, for this group was to just enhance everyone's um, self-esteem, their, their self-awareness, um, just to encourage them, um, just so everyone can open up and talk about some of the difficulties that they have with being a single parent, you know, from the money standpoint, to the discipline, to the, oh, I can't find a babysitter, to the, oh, mommy needs a break, but mommy can't have a break because mommy doesn't have anyone there to give her a break. So those types of things um, are important to discuss. Um, when being a single parent. So I thought some of those topics were very important and those are some of the things that we discussed. So to start off with this group meeting, what I did is um, I used a Diaz exercise for an icebreaker and I broke each um, participant up in groups, which I paired them together. One participant I did uh, pair with her since there was an odd number. So. Um, I had them, I gave them 10 minutes during this exercise to just really tell their partner about their self, their background, because two of the participants knew each other, but the remainder did not. Um, so just to get a little background about them so that it will be an icebreaker. So when they came back to the group, instead of everyone introducing themselves, I had them to introduce their partner and to give a little background about their partner. So that was a great icebreaker exercise that I used. Um, one of the, in, throughout the group, um, there was a, a tremendous amount of engagement. Um, there was a tremendous amount of, of, of feedback and discussion about specific, the topics that we discussed. Um, I only had one challenge uh, particularly with two of the participants that really didn't open up like the rest of the participants. So that was a challenge, just trying to pull information out of them. And I don't know if it was because it was uh, people there that they didn't know. And maybe they just didn't feel comfortable with sharing those experiences. So my challenge with it just being a one-time group uh, support group meeting was that since it was their first time meeting these individuals, they didn't feel comfortable with completely opening up. So if it was maybe a support group that met more often, which we did discuss, so that was a plus, um, then maybe they would be more prone to open up because they would know the individuals a little better. So that was one of the challenges that I had. Um, in the beginning of the, uh, of the group, group meeting, another challenge that I had, which I actually actually put into one of my discussions that was posed this semester was a challenge with eye contact and kind of scanning the room to kind of see 
um, the maybe body language or the how engaged the other participants were when someone else was talking. So that was one of the challenges that I had in the beginning. But I quickly remember, wait a minute, you have to scan the whole room. You have to look and see, you know, um, how the other uh, participants are interacting. How are they being engaged? Are they nodding? Are they listening? Are they playing with their phone? So that was something that I had to quickly change in the beginning. Um, that was that was a challenge uh, for me. But overall, I think that a lot of the participants uh, did engage well with with the assignment. Another thing that I did was um, I did a round. Um, where I asked a specific question, and this question was actually um, um, given to me by my professor, and I actually used it, um, you know, she gave it to me as an example, but I used it because I was like, wow, that was, that's a great question, and I posed a question of, um, if they were granted one wish as a single parent, what would they change, or what would they do differently? So that, in answer, asking that question, it was, it was, it was a way to kind of really bring out of what changes that they would make in being a single parent. So um, that was my rounds exercise and, and that went over really well. Even with the participants that really didn't want to open up, they did uh, talk a little bit more when it came to the rounds and, and when, when that particular question was posed. So that was good. Um, so the, you know, to overall, I thought that the group meeting went really good. A lot of people were engaged. Um, um, the one important takeaway that, that I took away from this is that in order to be an effective group lead, leader, I really have to listen. Um, you, you know, you have to listen to everyone, uh, and you have, to, you have to focus, and you have to really be engaged. Um, be, and you try to have to try to engage everyone else, which was one of the, the challenges that I had to get everybody to engage. Um, I was I was lucky that with this being my first group meeting, um, late in and in, in, in this set type of setting, that I was able to get the five participants that I did to really really engage outside of the two. So that was one of the challenges and one of the takeaways that that I would do differently is to just just try to engage more. Um, I thought that overall, like again, like I said, that it went really well, um, and I really enjoyed it, and I really look forward to my next group meeting. Thank you.